Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Guess I will. <laughs> okay. Since everyone else was jumping at the chair. Well, you, know, you have the glistening muscle. They want to see you flex. So go ahead and grab the door and give it a, give it a tug. Uh, the B-17. Wow, okay, good enough. Because you realize when you grab this door, it felt like there's resistance. And as you pull, you just hear these these round little timbers. They may have been like quarter staffs, and they just snap as you swing that door open. You're like, really? This is how you lock the door. <laughs> and as you open the door, and I think meet, someone's being murdered out there. I think so. Is anybody important? People have finally showed up at the store. <laughs> Well played. That's how we take up the whole group. Just move them out. <laughs> uh, the oldest truck in the book. Fight in the, the shorter than me fighter. Theater of the mind. You're hearing muffled cries from right there. There is... Well, there's one of you. I stole one first. You did. I stole it back. We don't steal. A smell that just hits you immediately in your nostrils as you open the door. You recognize it. It's, It's cooked flesh. Fresh cooked flesh. And as the fighter looks in there, you see a goblin kind of like half tied on the little altar here with flames coming up where you believe his legs probably are and a big gag on him. And he's just, yeah, he's just seeing the fires obviously on the other side of this altar burning his legs. Soup's on. <laughs> I mean, wait. <laughs> His feelings about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so goblin being cooked alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else is in the room? Oh, okay. So, uh, over here. It smells pretty good, though. <laughs> Just saying. I'm not taking culinary recommendations from the bugbear. <laughs> <laughs> He might be smarter than me, but no. I'll be you. Is a beautiful little fountain. Sculpted, you know, a bronze of a dragon, but it's obviously not a bronze dragon because it's got uh, more of a fire dragon shape. But it's actually squirting water instead of fire. And you, obviously you have a feeling that either some craftsmen or some magic users made the fountain because it's, it's spurting beautiful, clear water, like... We're talking like Vegas style water display. It's Bellagio. Exactly. As you know, uh, go ahead and give me perception. I'll let the the ranger go too because he's in between the legs. 
Yeah. Uh, that would be a 20. Uh, oh. four, uh, 17. Shnikey. Okay, so uh, as, as you're looking in there, your, your, your eyes are obviously not caring about the suffering of the small goblin because, you know, it's like I'm, cons- well, I'm, cons- I'm more concerned if there's, if there's other things going on about it. I'm concerned about his plight, but I'm also concerned about our plight. Um, our if we, potential <laughs> plight. <laughs> if we may Goblins be too rash. <laughs> it's unfortunate it's happening to him, but it's more important that it doesn't happen to us. That's exactly what... <laughs> so... so and, and what was your role? Uh, 17. Okay, immediately you guys are both picking up that uh, that that there's two forms lurking in this room, both here and here. You're not 100% what they are, but they're hiding there, and they're just not hiding good enough. You know that there's someone squatting in the shadows in both of these spots. Okay. You, you are keenly aware of this. It's like the craziest looking kobold thing ever. Ooh. It's a kobold running with a knife in the air. <laughs> yeah, Didn't they know not to run with knives? I don't think they care. Okay. <laughs> uh, so they're, the, the figures are just squatting? Yeah, they're, they're Pre- hiding. Presumably trying to get the drop on us? Yeah. Okay. Um, they heard you guys, you know, talking and, you know, like, oh, shit! And they ran from a hiding and, and lit the goblin on fire back when you guys got into that room. <laughs> He's uh, been burning ever since. Okay, I'd like to um, take a step in and to the right up here. Okay. So you're and holding. just kind of casually, like, pull out one of the hand axes and huck it at that one. This one? Yep. Okay, go for it. Uh is it like well hidden cover? It, it, it's got cover, so yeah, it will be a disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> 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 So twenty one, not that, a natural twenty. It should have been. <laughs> As your your axe goes flying out and it like shears part of this little altar here and hits what's behind there. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, five damage. As you just hear, <laughs> and the axe just throws the the momentum for the axe just throws the cobalt's body out and you just see it drop a flask of oil and and a knife and and you just hear. <laughs> From the, the the goblin burning at the altar alive. Okay, Ranger. Let's see, well, I I still declared that I had my swords out from yeah. the hallway. And I can either run up and maybe free this goblin since we kind of, I got an idea of the threats in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna run over and try to to he he's he's bound. You're saying? Oh right? yeah, he's yeah. he's bound to the altar in like okay, a like, really but, awkward position, but, so that he's gonna cook slowly. Yeah, I, th- I think I'm going to try to cut uh, get alongside him and cut him free. You uh, mean his bindings? Yeah, cut his bi- <laughs> cut his bind. Yes, his bindings. <laughs> not- I free you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been raised by wolves, but I know not to eat, eat your foot when you have okay. other ways. <laughs> give, give, give me a quick strike roll. Uh, oh. 16 yeah, plus whatever. You, you go snicker snack with your dagger, and he comes free. You <laughs> can tell it. that he's not really moving under his own power right now. He, he's been cooking, his blistering, popping flesh is hitting at you. It almost smells good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's it's like barbecue. Pork. <laughs> The skin tastes especially as, delicious. As, as, <laughs> at this point, his eyes <laughs> roll in the back of his head. He's just like groaning and on reflex. Yeah, I, like I, can I, in a bonus action, at least re- remove his gag as well? Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's okay. so just gonna start screaming. Well, he, he, I, th- I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Th- well, I'm, probably not, I, I, I'm not going to think that far ahead. I'm going to go ahead and remove the. Yeah. Ah. Once his eyes roll back, he passed out. Oh, okay. so, so, he, so, so you cut him free. So he's just like laying just out of the fire. So and, and you're, you're taking in this horrific scene of. For some reason, you want to burn some humans now. See what they look like. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, no need to roll for initiative, except for that scared guy in the corner. So everybody roll for initiative! Are you kidding me? 20. 17. 17. 11. <laughs> A little angry. You're doing really well I got an 11. I swear to God I'm going to pitch my dice. 
Oh, how bad was it? A zero. <laughs> You're the cleric, you can react to what happened during the round. Dex is your dump stat, we understand. But this this yeah. is not something to be ashamed of. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Coming <laughs> from the rogue. <laughs> Just remember the next time you have something that needs to be healed and <laughs> Oh, now she's lashing out. <laughs> no, no, just speaking truths. <laughs> you know, from from a meta point of view, the healer going last is actually a really good. I know, thing. Yeah. I know. It's just, so you have all the options of who who to let die. <laughs> <laughs> I got an eleven. Did I say that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she plays a good. You know, she plays a cleric so, well, not like me. So fighter. <laughs> Uh, Obviously, since you were you were drunk uh, on the kill, you just got <laughs> your adrenaline is rushing. There's a, a rushing sound in your ears because you know there's another one that, to slick your blade. I'm gonna run around this side. Oh, so you're like, you like so yeah, you can yeah. cut him off if he tries to run. Yep. Ah, and, and there's this scared goblin. Oh, he's a goblin. I mean, uh, sorry, come oh, on. Okay. I'm like, oh, oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, little fella. I mean, like, no. why are you cooking your friends? He's like, he's like, really hungry. <laughs> and then he's like, nah. <laughs> Oh, and and this kobold is terrified. <laughs> he's got a little dagger, and you see he's got like three flasks of oil, and he's like looking over at the fire, looking at you, and now he's looking at the big, big sword. <laughs> All right. Both hands, axe, oh. down. Uh, that would be 15. Oh, no. That'll hit such a bad way. <laughs> and... Uh, that would be five damage. Okay, you just slash right through his chest here. Big, big crack opens his chest as he falls back, and oil is leaking all over him. Thankfully, there's no flame sources <laughs> nearby in the immediate moment. Be <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> and, as as the kobold's last breath gurgles through the opening in his chest, pretty much the rest of you guys, you get the feeling that it's all clear. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you guys could all enter if you want. There is, there is light here. Everything else is dark. Murder machine. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's this horrible panting breathing going on from the goblin that's that's burnt down to, like you know, half a hit point. Okay. I suppose I... <laughs> How, are you going to use medicine or actually it, use uh, magic? So... <laughs> um... You know what, I could probably just use the medicine at this point, because, yeah, because I'm, I'm just not feeling it. So. Okay, so you're whipping out your healer's kit. Goblin. Yeah. Goblin. Like, it's a legless job. Uh, it's legless, right? Yeah. <laughs> Cut his legs off, you know. We had to amputate. Pretty much. Don't don't look at the bugbear. Oh, I, I, I don't know oh, what his he's legs eating. Were hanging yeah, his legs right? were cooking, being cooked. Yeah. Don't look at the bugbear. I don't know what he's eating. And, and, and as you're doing that, Ranger, by the way, you notice in this little area here, mm-hmm. there's dozens of bones. It looks like kobold and different goblins. Different okay, so goblins. not just goblins. It's not. J- it looks like there's kobold remains in here as well. You notice know, the little reptilian faces, you know, the skulls are there. We've been, taking, like, we've been taking our turns on this altar. Look, look, it looks like they burn people and then smash the parts and try to burn some more. And, yeah, it definitely looks like it's a religious thing. Yeah. That and just the maliciousness of cooking them slowly. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Well, more time to see how bad he is, or just straight out healing. Well, no, he said he's like a like half a half hit, hit, point. hit point. Yeah, he basically w- was at zero when his eyes rolled back. Troublemaker. What's your point? How I roll. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just for the time being, unless he really, really needs it. Oh, I'll just use the kit. Okay, so go ahead and give me a medicine roll. Okay. What's the worst that happens? You roll one and then he really needs it? I'm not using that dice because I'm not being medicine. <laughs> Usually it's my really great dice. Hey, if you're going to roll a one, you pick the perfect time to do it. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, it's the perfect time to burn a one okay, on your dice. So. 20. 20? Okay, you immediately go over there. You start binding his legs with, with some, some pole kiss and some wrappings and pop a... Smelling salt under his nose, 
and you just hear this nice relaxed breath. So you feel like he is stabilized. Works. And I didn't ex- expend any uh, spells, so I'm good. Okay, now if, now if the paladin wants to come by and burn a point of laying hands. Well, I'm reading on that. Okay, um, so I want to take a quick break? Did I, did I uh, crack all of the flasks? There's, there's two of the skins that are still, if you want two flasks of oil, you can, you can take two flasks. Uh, yes, and I'll check the other one as well. Okay, the other one, he only had the flask in his hand that's thankfully still there. Okay. You, you think it's like goblin stomachs that they use to make the flasks or something. It's, it's, it's you know... Yeah, I go grab one, go up, hold it, and it's in the right. Yeah. <laughs> so you now have some spare flasks of oil, which you could use to like make some fires in here if you wanted, or just keep it for later. You do notice with the one over here when you're pulling the flask, you know, flask out of his hand, he's covered in white load. He's kind of a bronzish colored cobalt. Weren't the other ones also decorated this Yeah, one? they had the white woad. You had like the white clay woad. Okay. Not like the cool King Kong Island, you know, cir- computer circuit woad, but yeah. cool white woad. Um, and so this fire, is this just like a cook pot is it coming from somewhere is it it's, seem to it, be there's kind of a recess on the floor at one point and they've just been building up with ash mm-hmm. and just burning things and just kind of like sweeping kind of in a pile mm-hmm. things that fall out okay so it's like a a burn bu- like, sort of like a little burn barrel type of thing type of thing you could poke through it once the fire's out if you want i was just going to toss the cobalt in there okay yeah you just toss it in there and it starts you know cooking like a sausage to clear death yeah, we've already taken care of that. Do, do you, I, 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 there's barbecue if you want some. I'm, I'm basically... As you're hearing cobalt pop in the flame cobalt. right now. Oh, uh, one on a stick. Cracklins. It's <laughs> Crack- probably Crack- fish on the <laughs> And there might be a better skull, too. Oh, well, there's some really cool blackened cobalt skulls and some... So you, most of the goblin skulls are, you know, trash because they break those just as out of spite. But of course, the cobalt skulls they let you know sit in nice, pretty as reference. Right. So I fish one of those out, and then uh, also some meat. Well, okay, so you grab like a one of the limbs cooking. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you have a cobalt skull that's all blackened and ashy. Mm-hmm. Little little heat cracks going all through it. Clean that off a little bit. Lick it with your tongue. Lick it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you have a black tongue with a white streak. <laughs> You're doing me a concern. <laughs> <laughs> You're just He's, now concerned. <laughs> He's an equal opportunity uh, cobalt uh, skull collector. I might be able to do something with these. Who knows? Oh boy. I can't judge. Sorry. I have a collection of rodent skulls. <laughs> <laughs> what is your how, how does your little uh, pet mouse feel about that I don't that? have any mice oh, oh okay <laughs> hey, and what was your passive perception 14 14 okay good stuff we're getting trapped we're about to get some um, <laughs> so the uh, checking this one out yeah. you're checking out the fire does the uh, craftsmanship on the uh, fountain look familiar? The craftsmanship on the fountain looks amazing. You want to go check it out? Yeah. Okay. There's a water red at the but... <laughs> There was at one point. <laughs> Isn't that the bugbear? Remember, this is the this, this Citadel after it got jacked up. <laughs> and then repopulated. It, it's, it's gorgeous craftsmanship. Obviously, it must yeah. be tied into some magical or amazingly plumbing thing, which works in goblins we consider magical, you know, because it's squirting uh, yeah. clean water, which you can buy by all means clean, you know, your stuff up, get some water Actually, out. yes, I, I would like to drink some. It, this, it, seem, this seems like a totally normal, completely non-meta thing to do. I'm just like, ah, oh, hmm. Invariably, that I will be cursed and probably turned into something. Awful. Actually, you just you know, and it, it tastes wonderful. It's 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 actually normal, wonderful water. Though at the exact moment you're leaning into the fountain, <laughs> <of the train, laughs> 
your eyes kind of look up, and you realize that this door was opened. And at that exact moment that you're drinking the water and you're looking out, here's the dragon statue, and you look up. You see the, the end of a swing of a sling of a cobalt going, and you just see the sling open and the stone going flying right towards. Yeah, you're scary. <laughs> right towards you, just going right towards your eyes. Okay. At disadvantage though, because it's behind the dragon. Yeah. Okay. That would be amazing if <laughs> That would be awesome. That's suck. Probably right oh! before you. <laughs> well, six is you. <laughs> it's you immediately go, whoop! <laughs> I just dunk my head in. As the stone goes flying, it's like, good try, sucker. <laughs> I failed. I tried so hard, but I failed. This is where I make the board really confusing. I throw a bunch of goblins on the table and they're actually kobolds. You could probably reach behind you and grab some kobolds, but eh. Yeah, we're just gonna look I'm the Minotaur, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Isn't the it's the fighter that was by the fountain. Yep. Not the Minotaur. Oh, you're you're right. Uh, the, yeah. this guy. As immediately, we can get the action and use this guy, a gaggle of kobolds come piling out. So, 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 20, 25. Which one of these four squares do you want to be in? Dan? That one works correct. That one? Yeah. Oh, look at you being a nice guy. <laughs> Do you have the same initiative? Uh, yep. Okay. And then... Here was... Yeah. And then another one there. So these two are the brave ones. They're, 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 they're balls to the walls, brave. They're gonna dagger you to death. So this one's gonna swing his mighty dagger at you. Because he's balls to walls. Ooh, well a 19 hit. Yes, I will. Okay, he comes up and the little bastard shanks you for four points of damage. I'll he see. just comes up and shank it right into your leg. Okay. This one, he's coming up to the paladin. He's, he's gonna eat shanky. shank you. Will a 13 hit you? Nope. He comes up and you just hear the sound of what armor are you wearing? Uh, chainmail. A dagger on chainmail mm-hmm. sk- skittering across. So then, see this is the guy who went first. This guy is going to throw his sling at the paladin. With advantage because he's got a buddy there because they're bastards with their pack tactics. Oh. <laughs> Good thing he's got advantage. <laughs> Well, uh, 12 hits you. Nope. As both goes, I mean, literally, one smashed against the wall, no, another one smashing against the wall. And this guy, oh, damn. So he's going to be rolling just straight roll at the fighter because, you know, pack tactics negates the disadvantage, at least. Well, a nine hits you. Yeah. Oh, my God. These poor bastards. These poor, poor bastards. What are you doing? Here. Okay, so that was their surprise round. Ha 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 ha. So, top of the order. Fighter, it's raining stones. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Nishanker! Nishanker's his name! If he lives, that'll be his name. He's Nishanker. If. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, X to the head. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, that hits. Okay. You swing your axe down and literally crack his <laughs> skull just as he's pulling the dagger out of your knee. No more knee shanker. And no more ah, Skull cracker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that uh, did, did, uh, 
Uh, and then I'm going to. Uh, oh wait, I'm engaged with him. Yep, you give him a type of opportunity. Mm. If you go. Uh, okay, then I'll stay there. Okay. He positions himself nicely there. Ranger. Ranger. You're oh, paired I mean, yeah. for the goblin on the floor. These little bastards could try to cook alive. Yeah, see, I think. At least you're the DC to kill their people yeah. first. It's probably been too long, too short of a time for me to have swapped my bow, right? It's, it's been long enough. Okay, yeah, I probably yeah already okay. yeah. So I would I got I already got the bow ready. So I'll I'll fire at the uh, the cobalt that's okay. next to the group. Natural oh, twenty. Jesus. Nice. I like that die now. Have to check that dice. <laughs> Nine, twelve. <laughs> oh, wait, thir- thirteen. You go tunk, right between the paladin's legs. You hit this thing <laughs> square in the chest, and it just like stiffens and falls straight back dead. Put All of a sudden, a little splatter of water lands on him, deader than a doornail. More cobalt for the fire. Okay, paladin. So apparently, the ranger's done your light work for you. <laughs> oh. Who tipped in this hit me the sling? <laughs> uh, that, that would have been this one. Uh, I'll go to the bug. The one that looks like a bug. So, just to here? Yeah. Okay. And. You come all leisurely, barely <laughs> taking like three strides <laughs> near there. I will attempt to smack me. Cobalt. Oh, me. It's bad day to be cobalt. <laughs> 22. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. He does this little me. Eight. So so you bring your weapon down and he turns to like he does this whole I'm gonna run and you just cut him down. Oh man, that sucked. That really sucked. Okay, so uh, you go with where you're standing. Um, I will move. What do I have? Dude, you took ten feet of your three feet. You took two steps, you know. You went stomp, stomp, squish. I'm good there. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be time for the kobolds to do something. <laughs> Well, you see, you have a lot of pack tactics. <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> it was a prank. <laughs> that door is the spawn point. There's actually fifteen more in here. <laughs> you get cobalt's cheap. Trust me. So, yeah, this guy. Yeah. He could run for that door. He could. He's thinking about it. <laughs> that might not be the best door to go through, though. Because it's trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking at the man. Don't run a rope. You know. <laughs> he's gonna go for the eyes. He, he he's gonna. Hmm. Yeah, that was it. He's gonna he's gonna go ahead and run past uh, this guy. He's gonna be ballsy. So as soon as he gets to right here, here's your attack of opportunity. He's trusting in his fate. <laughs> fate was not kind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as you just kind of like backhand from your previous swing as he comes by just like you, you, you think you're being cute just bopping your butt with it as literally his torso separates and wow. he goes splat all over the altar oh look they got their blood sacrifice <laughs> as all of a sudden this guy just sees running away with impunity because you just use your, your only reaction so he's like <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> and then two more come out. Run it, they have tactics. 
And this one's gonna go here. They don't have to flank it for advantage. That way he's got the escape. He can finish his move, he'll take his cut and run. So this one's gonna go for a quick cut of your leg. Good thing he's got advantage. Ooh, will a 15 hit? Nope. He slices and finishes his move. <laughs> This one, feeling awful lonely right now because he doesn't have pack tactics anymore. Oh, well, a 14 hits you. And he's running. <laughs> I actually think it's shared the same square, so. That's it for their turn. So, Rogue, <laughs> you've been seeing all these shorties doing the shorty stuff, and you're like, I can do better than that. Can you really know? <laughs> um, you want to move around that, obviously, if you're going to take a shot or something. Yeah, I'm going to move out. <laughs> yeah. I have a straight line of sight on you! And then I'm going to shoot my bow and skewer them all. Mm-hmm. One shot. <laughs> like, a, like a natural 25 and take them all out at once. You're going to try exactly out. what I'm going to do. <laughs> Do the false ado thing. <laughs> she went, she puts her mouse on the arrow. Yeah. Oh. As you twing, and it, apparently it's because you were walking sideways and shooting, and just the altar just like clipped the arrow and kind of Kenny walked this bit. Okay, so it looked impressive, but you can finish your movement if you like to get move some more. Yeah, I would, I would like to continue. Can you go like that? Sure. Hide behind the big guy. Okay, so wizard. Okay. Um, I have to say, there's a group in there. <laughs> yeah. Move me up within. Uh, Five, ten, no, I'm over there. there. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You want to be adjacent to one? Get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> can I swing on those two there? You can swing like on one this guy, yeah. This guy. These two are just within. He's their bodyguard. That's why the one with the extra step. Okay, so the two in the back. I Unless you have reach. reach. Yeah, you yeah, have, reach. have reach. Oh, you have gorilla <laughs> arm reach. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> so I'm going to You're like, I'm put gonna... green flame down the quarter step. Okay, as you... you... Lightsaber up your quarter step with your big grill arm to go boom. Right. And it's even more obnoxious because they're so small and you're still big. See if it actually works. Nope. The total of eight is not going to hit, man. No, you swing and obviously they're little yippy heads, they're moving around, they got the little dog yippy lizard thing going on. It's because the, the, the and they won't shut up because they're all yipping for, for fear right now, especially with your big old grill arms. Yeah. That and the right thing, and they can eat up of you for a month. Okay, so, Cleric. Why'd you get in the way? <laughs> you can you can, you can take I him out. Had to try. Remember, you're an evil, <coughs> ho- you're an evil hobgoblin. But... Oh, I know. Maybe but... you need to train the bugbear to, to, to not get in your way of your AoEs. Uh, as long as you heal him from it afterwards, it's a lesson learned. Well, you know, I do have spare the die. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is there any way I could move to where I have one of them, one of these? 20, 25, like right there? I don't even have to get close. I just need to have them in sight. Oh, right there. Thank you. have you. all of them in sight. I'm going to cast Chill Touch. Now, is that a touch or is that No, a it is actually a skeletal hand. It's 120 feet. Okay, so uh, what does your spell do? As you wave, and your it looks like your skeleton in your hand comes out and moves across. Yep. Yeah. So let's see. You create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of a creature within range, and, and make a ranged spell attack against the reach of the creature to assail, assail, assail it with a with the chill of the grave. Whoa. All right. May you have better success than the big big oaf. 
Thirteen. Thirteen? That will hit. As your hand touches, would know which one of the three you're going for. Uh, the one he was trying to hit. The one, the, the this so one, one of those guys in the bow. back was what I was trying to hit. Okay, so. yeah, say the guy with the bow, the, the minion okay. that has the bow. So, so as your skeletal yeah. hand just reaches out and touches his shoulder, immediately you see that one reacting to you like, Whoa! They're not big on necromancy. Five. Five points? Yeah. As your hand just reaches out, touches him, and you just see his, his cheeks just sunk, sink in, his eyes kind of glaze over like he's been dead for a while, and he just literally drops dead on the side of the touch of the hand. Does that do anything good for you? Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I get anything from it, but that works. Oh, that's the cantrip point? Yeah. Okay, and, and immediately you just drained the life out of him. It says, all of a sudden, you see frost of the grave on him. It looks good on his white woke. <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> top of the order. Don't the cobalts wish that they were going first? They do. So, uh, fighter, rocks were flying towards your face. Now they're running. I'm going to swing around uh, free McLong arms. <laughs> <laughs> I can throw you over there. (laughs) 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 They look like big, strong. Um, uh, Can I still uh, hit the guy that's on the that's coming to the corner to me? This guy is going to be disadvantaged. That one's going to be straight roll. Okay, then I will go to the guy. And by all means, if you guys are playing a character, I'll give you a round to give you advantage. Okay. Because you get advantage, and you get advantage, and you get advantage. Uh, that will only be a 12 to hit. But don't you know 12 is good enough? Oh, is it? It is. You've discovered the magic number. Right. Don't they wish they had... Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> as you come walking by, just barely as the bugbear's pulling his quarter staff back, you just... <laughs> Wah! And just, just this... Cobalt explodes. <laughs> so, uh, um, <laughs> as your axe, That's my thing. your axe yeah. just you know without Very damaging cool. your axe, you're seeing stone <laughs> explode where the axe goes through this cobalt so fast. As, as both of you are just covered in cobalt, what was once inside is now outside and all over both of you. <laughs> you, you barely connected as hard as you could. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'm looking at the door, going, oh, "Come on, there's got to be more." <laughs> Don't you think? It's a ranger. All right, I'll slide up, and uh, I mean I'm short, so so yeah. it's not like I'm blocking the, the <laughs> Claire's line of sight either. Yeah. <laughs> no so there's me. one poor lone cold wall. And the wind for yeah Where eleven. Ah, I did not find the magic number. Detail. Oh no no wait no this is plus one arrow twelve. Twelve. <laughs> so you're using one of your magic arrows on a kobold? <laughs> you're using a magic arrow. Uh, Just no. remember when you run into a dragon and you wish you had your plus one arrow. Yeah. You you no. pull out for a second there you do no. this whole you know, the camera focuses on you looking at this beautiful flesh. Then you look down the arrow and back at the beautiful no. flesh and then you go and the arrow just flies down there and it just the kobold is looking at the fighter and the bugbear going, I made bad life choices. I was told goblins were all pushovers. You know, we got those goblins trapped in the inside of the dungeon. What the hell? And the arrow just kind of like nonchalantly sticks through his throat. And it's just looking at both of you. It's just gurgle, 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 gurgle. For six? For six points of damage, which is enough to take it out. There's God, cobalt blood everywhere. It smells of iguana. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Not to mention the cooking ones. Oops. Okay. So, uh... I keep looking at the door. <laughs> do, you, do you want to go to the door? You go to the door. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying I'm waiting for more to come out. Because <laughs> so yeah. when you keep against the cobalt, they just keep coming out. <laughs> you know? The clown car of a room. <laughs> Cobalt clown car. Exactly. I was just starting to have fun. <laughs> okay, so you hear nothing but silence and, and, and the, the splashing of the fountain. Oh, I feel disappointed. And the sizzling of flesh. So I'll go weird, over the door. Weird. Okay, so you're going to... You see what, what obviously used to have been guard 
barracks that have been rebuilt. It looks like they've been rebuilt by both medium race and small races. But it looks like the, the current rendition is it's, it's, it's in cobalt hands. Okay. Because you see that there's like lots of cast off scales. There's like a community puppy pile bed in the corner. There's there's little rocks and scrimshaw shaped in eggs and dragon motifs and lizard motifs. And you see that there's lots of broken, uh, s looks like stone figurines that uh, you may want to get a closer look to do a skill roll and see what they used to be before they were defaced and destroyed. Uh, can I go scoop them up and put yeah. them in my pouch? All right, you can just... <laughs> okay. I want some. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go in there? All right, so I'm yes. looking at them. As Magically, the rogue them. appeared right next to you. <laughs> I've been here the whole time. You want a history Perfect. or... Uh, it would be either religion or history would both work. So. Uh, you know, you have two that are kind of on the religious track. Yeah. Right? But I don't want to give them to you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I got <guess> 17. <laughs> so so Bye you look at them. That's my inner voice. <laughs> <laughs> and you realize that most of the Smash figurines are uh, goblinoid gods. You notice immediately the bug, you know, as you, as you look, the first one, that you're like, this half is one of the bugbear brothers, and you put them together and realize that these are goblin holy relics that were smashed. Wow. Well, they're lost. How many of them are there? Uh, pretty much, you, you see a few that are smashed to dust that look like multiples, but you basically have... If someone were to craft and put them back together, you could get reasonably a full set of the Pantheon. If someone were to put that to work in it. I thought she walked up there and started looking at it. what she said she was doing, but she's yeah. so sneaky, even she doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah, I was super sneaky. Yeah. Uh, have I seen them before? Uh, give me, you can give me a history of religion. City, city goblin. Six. City goblin. <laughs> no, you, you 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 think they're just some kind of wood, you know stone carvings. But so you I, think the egg ones look like you could sell them for some. I, I put the the bugbear <laughs> brothers together and I say, does this look familiar, like a deity? So you're making it so it's completely noticeable. Right. And I probably still don't notice because I okay. won't Interesting. <laughs> she has very little reference. I'll give them to the paladin and the cleric. They might be. Oh. If you don't mind. They look to be the. the I'm taking one of the egg ones. She's stealing the, the, the kobold scrimshaws. She's like, these look pretty. So I, I <laughs> scoop them up and I come walking out and I'm like, you two could probably use these. I'll, I'll give the cleric that she immediately recognizes the pantheon since it's her church. <laughs> okay then. Though you make better ones out of like, you know, wood carvings and. Shavings of grass and wood. Well, of course I do. Because, you know. Because you got to give reference to the gods. Absolutely. So, uh, you guys looking for anything else in the room? Is there any gold or coin? you going to, like, Probably poke, poke around the bedroll. I'm going to look for a secret compartment. Go ahead, give me a perception roll, Mrs. Perceptive Safety. So, as the uh, bugbear goes stomping his foot around the bedroll, because that's where everyone has their stash. Mm hmm what you get? I got 13. Okay, so so easily you, you kind of like poke with your quarter staff. Ooh. You hear s some jingly sound, so you like lift up the, the filthy, you know, hides or whatnot that they're using for, for bedding. And you're going to be finding about 14 silver and about 10 gold coins. You can see they're all like in a community pile. There's, there's so she like, probably, oh. since she rolled higher, she would... She She's going to find something out. else. She's oh. like, I'm yeah. specifically okay. looking for... She's looking for okay. a couple of things. You're just looking for like, well, where would you put my treasures? And so my it's 10 gold and... 10 gold and 14 silver. Okay. And a few chunks of uh, eggshell. Of, of, you think that might be what well, you've heard of kobolds. That it might be kobold eggs. Or it could be a dragon egg. You're not quite sure. I'm sure you could probably lie to someone and convince them it's a dragon egg. Right. 21. And with your 21, you start looking around and you're looking, you're like, you're passing over the chump change. You're letting him have the chump change. 
you know, this is how things go. You look over and you find a section of stone that looks like there's two loose stones that can come out. And you go over there and you really quickly do your rogue thing where you're like, and the stones go, Bloop. <laughs> and inside you're going to find some shiny shiny. Go ahead and roll me percentile if you have them. Not a deep one. Twelve. Twelve? Twelve, good. So uh, as, you, as you reach into the dark crevasse that your dark vision shows you, you know exactly what's in there. It looks like stones. Sparkly, sparkly stones. You found those stones. Who <laughs> <laughs> knew they were detachable? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Ooh, Jesus. So you you immediately when you move your hand and get the cobwebs out of there, you must have found like the guard stash, because uh, you found sixteen gems that are worth about fifty gold coins a pop. <laughs> this must have been like someone's huge freaking stash. Now <laughs> it, this is a massive stash that you just found. Ret Probably the Ret retirement. I <laughs> was a week <laughs> away from retiring. <laughs> And then they died and the castle got sucked down. I'm going to pocket all but six of them and then come out and go, look what I found. And they put two on one of them. Ten for me, one for each of us. No, no, no. See, there are six of us. One for so each I, of us. I, yeah, but uh, you get an additional one. So I get 11. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you got some I expect, stones. I expect nothing less. Yes, that, so, no. so go ahead and give me a sleight of hand roll to make sure no one noticed this. Well, he's the only one in the room and he was looking. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay, I'm just, just making sure curious. that you know. Yeah. Um, what am I doing? Sleight, sleight of hand? It's one that you're good with. Nice. <laughs> go ahead and roll again. You're at advantage. He was looking. I just want to scare you with the first roll. See what All right. <laughs> uh, 20. Four. Okay, you you were super super sneaky. Super sneaky. Super yeah, I'm all like sneaky. <laughs> You're like one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. One for me. Here, guys. <laughs> and no one notices anything until all of a sudden, eventually, when you fall over and. I'm like, I'm, I'm like one of those cartoon characters who's like stealing a bunch of stuff and the they just one, fall over. The one <laughs> thing, the that. one natural one when you're stealing something that drops everything you stash. <laughs> that would oh, be terrible. Nike. You guys would be all like watching me all the time. And <laughs> so so uh, one stone worth how much? Each one's 50. worth 50 gold. Okay. This, this is like a huge cache of money. Obviously, you, you you have the impression that the kobolds did not know this was there. <laughs> or it probably would have been in their communal pile or given to their dragon god if they've got one. Sounds good to me. Dragon god. By the way, speaking of dragon god, does our, our cleric want to deface the dragon here? Oh, it is so pretty, but let's it go is. ahead and do it. Okay, so give me a quick roll, roll a d20. You can add like strength or dex to it. You're basically watching the cleric pull a Floki on this statue. He faces. <coughs> no Viking fans in the group? Okay. I know, I got it. I got it, I got you. Uh, Five. Yeah, it's a whole whopping ten. Hey, it's, it's an in and object. You just need a ten or better to hit it. So you basically are going out there and you're just defacing it. Are you destroying the water feature of it, or just defacing the dragon? Oh, just the dragon. Okay, so you basically destroy the dragon, so you saw this nice little watery, spouty thing, so there's fresh water. Because, you know... And, and then I look at... Um, Ty, I think your food's ready. <laughs> As there's black and kobolds. Yeah, can I start pulling the ones that were oh. making a boo? Uh, can I start pulling them back into? Yeah, the... you. If they're small. You can yeah, like easily <laughs> pick up all three by the ankles and throw them. I don't like letting my axe go. So okay, like grab so one, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just pulling them back into the into the main portal. We'll see what you do. Is you grab two by the ankles <laughs> and you <see> axe <laughs> in one, and you bring it over that way. <laughs> then, no, that, one, that one was still stuck to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bindle, it's fine. Exactly. Just, <laughs> and, and so you're basically piling them up so they sizzle, pop, will crack in the fire. Okay, so, uh, and you've got the best passive perception. 14, right? 14, yes. 
This little altar thing has got your attention, by the way. I mean, granted, your cleric may want to go deface it because it's got lots of little carvings to the dragon mm. god. Oh, here we go again. And by dragon god, I mean the one and only true Tiamat. Just oh, get covered in poo. I, I, and for some reason, when you I, <laughs> get, go ahead and give me a religious roll. Okay. That's like your bread and butter. Yeah, 17. Tiamat. You immediately see Tiamat. You know, she's the god of thievery and evil. It's funny, but she's lawful evil because she's the goddess of thievery. Mm -hmm. And uh, you notice something's wrong in this picture. It's slightly different. Because, you know, T-Man, maybe Head of Dragons, right. from the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon mm -hmm. we all love and know. We, we all know who that is. The center head in this picture is a white dragon, and the white head is like twice the size of all the others. Like, it's like super, super So that's characterized. what I focus on. Yeah. And, and you, you look at that, and you scratch your, your chin. And then you look at the, the, the cooking cobalts that have the white clay on them as woad. And it's, it's making you oh. think. It's making you think. Then all of a sudden your eyes kind of focus on them a little more and since your medicine is kind of your shtick too, mm -hmm. you notice they've got like some of their scales have got like almost frost burned look that, that's healed over long ago. Okay. You can hate me. Okay. <laughs> I remember, I, I, I I remember session hate? zero, you said there better not be any blanks in our dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't want dragons? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You, 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 you were tied I mean, up that one. I mean, it's not called Dungeons and Beholders. <laughs> <laughs> no, because SR3 doesn't cover Beholders. <laughs> <laughs> They're still copyrighted. Why do you the white ones? Yeah. The white ones are the dumb ones. Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Smarter than a kobold. Any dragon egg you can steal. Yeah. Look at that, girls. Get to the defacing. Now, 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 are you, now are you mentioning this to the group? Because then, then I'll let all of you do a history roll if you, if, if you mention to the group. You don't have to. I mean, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there seething, and then I turn around and I start word vomit and just let them know. So you're just like defacing away yeah. and, and spouting. So uh, everybody at the table, do the history roll. I don't think my character cares enough. Keeping oh. your role just in case, because you hang out with the yeah. humans when you were young, and you heard a lot of things being said by humans. Okay. Nice. A natural oh my god. Yeah. Two natural, both the goblins, natural 20. <laughs> both the goblins raised away from goblins. <laughs> Makes sense. So, so our dear ranger. <laughs> Aconite remembers the, 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 the teachings of his people that in winter you fear when winter is coming. Of course. Because winter is not the name of the season. You call it the white season. Winter is the name that many creatures that you know of in the wild call this uh, adult white dragon <laughs> that is known to show up in the, the colder of both winters. Why do you think I'm wearing a wolf pelt? <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, and it, so you know that there's this dreaded dragon by the name of Winter that comes whenever it's, you know, <laughs> <laughs> she snuck up on you. <laughs> I was like, sneaky. Like, oh, <laughs> what can I say? Sneaky, sneaky. And meanwhile, our, our city rogue, Miss Giggle Snort, who's used to listen to hearing all the stories, you, you hear the, the, the terrifying stories that, that were talked about in human towns that uh, once upon a time, there used to be this worm speaker who'd come around and say, pay me money to keep the dragon at bay. And, and if they didn't pay them uh, this dragon that was known you know, collectively as winter, different languages call it basically the season winter is its name in different languages. And uh, if, if, if they mocked at the worm speaker or accosted him, the, the great white worm would come down. And... Uh, like apparently like three or four generations ago like wipe out entire communities less and less of wiping out more of you just seeing on the horizon kind of thing now but uh, you know that that, that that come winter season white worms or something that, that's in the area uh, what season is it right now you guys yeah. picked uh, winter remember when I asked what apple you wanted on the tree the poison one or the healing one 
<laughs> I mean, it's it's yes. like autumn where the wind is changing to winter, but it's you know winter is coming. <laughs> oh, man. We've been waiting for that one. <laughs> the good part is is that a dragon can't get into this small space that we're in. Oh, yeah. but you know what they can do? Drop it on us. <laughs> Drop what? The ceiling. The ceiling. <laughs> 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 You guys are in there, and it's just they out have there. to find us. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't think this is the thing that requires pinpoint precision. <laughs> just keep stomping until the just, screaming stops. Just think of the experience, though. Uh, yes. We'd be level 10 in yeah. no time. But the higher the danger, the higher the payoff for experience. Uh, what's in that other room? Uh, oh. We still need to deface this altar. Yeah, she's 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 going <laughs> down, destroying this this Tiamat. And you notice that this Tiamat, as you're defacing it, you can tell once upon a time it was a also a dragon statue to Tiamat, but apparently it was defaced at one point hundreds of years ago, and then the, the kobolds kind of like rebuilt it <laughs> from their point of view, which to them, oh god, dragons are god, so. But you can see someone once upon a time did deface this place, you know. But but this this altar has always been dedicated to the goddess of dragons. Of the selfish, selfish, evil ones. And while you're defacing it, go ahead and give me a uh, perception roll. Now, I'm going to give you disadvantage because you're angry. You're angry and defacing this. Oh, Lord. You, you seem very single-minded minded in your, your, you want to deface this. Because, you know, that's what you do, right? <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> What'd you get there? <laughs> Natural 20 and a 2. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go get the stamp now. <laughs> uh, I'll put my dice roll away. No, you just finished defacing it. Horribly You've been cursed. I guess. Horribly scarring up the secret compartment so no one will ever be able to find it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was going to go get some gems. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> and let's see. Only a 10% chance that you might notice it. Oh, jeez. Yeah. It's got more things to do. Okay. One doesn't listen to cobalt in the prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so she's working away on defacing that. So uh, someone's gonna come over here. Not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you so you're gonna open the door with my long arms, about five feet away from it. I mean, I literally like <laughs> reduce the population here just myself by like a quarter. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so uh, give me strength to pull that door. I call you the rock. <laughs> <laughs> the rock on which kobolds break. <laughs> nope. Seven. So you grab the door and you shake it and give it to, it's those long gorilla arms. You're just like way over exerting to pull the door off. You, it, it seems to be sticky. Okay, I'll walk over and try it out. <laughs> Can I check it for traps and stuff? Sure, I can roll. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Well, luckily. He comes up and. <laughs> it seems really wedged. Yeah. As you realize the bugbear is still holding the knob. <laughs> I am literally amazed that every session that I've played here, and I'm not complaining, it's it's really flavorful, uh-huh. but these dice do not normally perform as poor. I'm thinking you need to swap dice with the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, So So go ahead and roll for traps. Oh, it's safe. It's safe. Totally safe. All right. Continue. (laughs) As you were. Who's going to carry the uh, injured goblin? Or are we going to just leave him here? That's Mm. you guys. You are evil races. If you don't carry your own weight. Honestly, the hobgoblins would probably say if he ain't carrying his weight, we'll see if he's alive when we get back. Well, that's... that's, Culturally speaking. But but that's that's, that's the question. I mean, best case... Best case scenario, we know of a place where we can stash him that's out of the way and relatively safe. There you and go. he's got food. 
<laughs> and water. <laughs> and yeah. a fire to keep him from going into shock. Oh, that's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. We could just, you know, get some bedding out and say, <laughs> okay, you're on your own. You'll be comfortable. You'll be alright. I'm I'm used to goblins being uh, us goblins being expendable, and I got him off the fire. What, <laughs> what's this door made out of? Is it wood? It's the same type of wood as everything else. Yeah. I'll take the axe to it. Okay. So, you so, can do another strength. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not like it's only a one shot. You can oh, try okay. again. Oh, then yeah. I'll, maybe we work together. On maybe it? there was just cobalt goop there, and you know, well, basically, yeah, you could go ahead and do the aid, so he has advantage on the roll. Okay. I got a 19 on 20. 22 on that. <laughs> okay, so he comes to help you, and you're like, one, two, and the door flies open. <laughs> Unfortunately, <coughs> remember how it was clear of traps? Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's no traps or nothing there. None <laughs> whatsoever. See, I'm so Immediately, as you fling open that. the door. You now, I'm going to give you advantage on your decks because you're folding Nash 20. That's, that's awesome shit. Immediately him, so. comes swinging <laughs> an old rusty sword that someone had propped as a booby trap. That's... Yeah, you're going to have advantage on it. Uh, okay, 13. Or, yeah, 13. Ooh. You just barely move <laughs> back as your little blue hopped off the nose. And you feel your hairs part to the blade. As I'm sure you're immediately looking at the road next to you, saying, Clear traps. Obviously, the trap would not have hit a goblin, it would have hit someone of medium size or, 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 or bigger. It looks clear. As the sword swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. In, in her defense, this, the trap was on the other side of the door. She's going Different to definitions us. are clear, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to hit me. It's clear. <laughs> I'm clear. Clear. I didn't say it was clear. I'm clear. <laughs> okay. After you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to peek around. <laughs> you peek around the corner? Yeah. Here, give me a perception roll. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what you're peeking me for, right is to check it out? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Fourteen. Fourteen? You can tell right here there's a, uh, some kind of pit-ish trap. It's clear. And we now see how the evil group <laughs> play. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> And that's a great place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about.